How you doing, everybody? This is Jimmy the Bull at MuscleMonster.com. I'm here today to share with you my personal power straps. How to help you become the best power bodybuilder I could possibly be. Training through injuries, gaining strength. And now I'm going to share with you how you can get the extra mile in the gym, pushing and pulling and getting through the exercises. These are the best power straps you'll ever use. Go to MuscleMonster.com to get the full demonstration. I love it. And we are back for another exciting episode of After Hours. I'm Dave Palumbo, and I'm joined by the entire WAC pack. John Romano trickling in here late on the DB as well. I need that turned off. Larry Paul joining us today. Greg Valentino and uh, Amin Alai, who is uh, uh, doing his best Godfather impression today. (laughs) Can y'all hear me now? Yes. Yes, we can hear you, Harmon. Okay, I had to switch to my wife's phone. I dropped my phone. It's not working. What's going on, guys? What's What's up? John, you're looking very hazy. Is there like marijuana smoke in the air? <laughs> I think it's my lighting. It's, it's been a little worse. You still don't have schmutz on the lens? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> That's like a Mr. G thing. Yeah, that was it was schmutz. It was schmutz. Greg, you know what? The schmutz is like a Jew- Yiddish word for, for what do they call it in Italian? Schmutz. Like, uh, I don't know. What I mean. <laughs> You know, it's funny. If you've been exposed to these words, you don't even know what they mean, but you just know how to use them in the right context. Like, you know? That's like a Jewish, New York Jewish, like, slang, right? Schmutz is, is, yeah, is, 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 is You know? Yeah, schmutz. I've heard of it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I don't know how you say that in it's Italian slang. I don't know. You got uh, Spakim. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that what is this? Like a big mess. <laughs> What's Joaquin? What does what that mean? Oh, oh, that. Joaquin Bowl of Harass or, you know, something like that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it usually means like, you know, it's like we come, you know. We couldn't, like, even oh, make it, we couldn't even make it one minute. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, it, it's funny. You're allowed to curse on YouTube again. They they changed the rule. Not excessively, oh, really? but you're allowed. Like, yeah, you're allowed to curse. But you know what? Ever since they made the rule you're allowed to curse, for some reason – Views on all our videos have gone down. I don't know why. It oh, seems great. like great to have a field day. Oh, well, well, <laughs> they, ha- they had a reverse set, or Andy Frisella would have lost his audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, the advertisers are probably like, We can't advertise that anything. You guys took away everything from us, you know? Right. Everybody curses, though. You watch all these videos, the guys are cursing left or right. You little kids are cursing. Do you ever see that little kid that talks about like the COVID? Fucking COVID. He's like six years old. His father, he's a little Italian kid from New York. He's like, the fucking COVID. You can't go off. You can't go outside to, to fucking COVID. You know what I mean? And, and the mother's yeah. like, you know, of course, I think the parents put all these kids up to that stuff. Of course they do. Of course they do. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like a part of normal language now. You know what, though? When, when I was a kid, and when most of you guys were kids, you couldn't curse on TV. There was no cursing. And then HBO came out. This was probably in the late, mid, early 80s, I would say. 80s, and HBO yeah, yeah. was the, you could curse on there. The series and the movies, and they were like, it was the first time on TV that you could have cursing. Remember and, Dave, Eddie Murphy? Yeah, of course, Eddie Murphy was the, 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 the okay. foulest mouth, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but I got, I got Siri answering questions that I'm not even asking her to answer. Dave, Dave, you know what? John Romano will probably remember this. You what? can't, if you remember John, they could. I dream of Jeannie couldn't show her belly button on TV. Do you remember that? Yeah, Barbara Eden's Eden. navel. Yeah, it was a big. Barbara. It was a big deal that yeah. you know they had this costume that was like midriff, right? And she and was hot, scorching yeah. hot, <laughs> scorching <laughs> hot. Yeah. And and uh, you know, for the time, I mean, to see a, like that much body on daytime TV was that was uh, that, that was, was almost big. like. That's rated yeah, back that then. The thing to do. <laughs> they couldn't it's show it. belly button. They couldn't show anything. They freaked out about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she could. You know. You know what else was? You know what I used to sh- sh- spot game to? 
uh, like uh, Gilligan's Island. I, yeah, know. I was just going to say that. The Gilligan? Well, you were doing it to Gilligan? Ginger. Ginger. Teaming off the Gilligan? No, no Marianne or Ginger? But, but Marianne, not Ginger. Yes, Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I Marianne. like Marianne better. Yeah. But uh, Ginger. He whack it to he Ginger. died, by the way, of COVID. <laughs> Who did? Oh, man. Marianne died of COVID. Really? Wow. Like. Oh, that's right. I heard, that's right. That's right. Wow. But my, just, my point is that it started out, you couldn't do anything. Then HBO came out, then Showtime and Cinemax. And, you know, now, then obviously, you know, Howard Stern left co conventional radio to go to Sirius because he can curse and do whatever he wanted on there. And it seemed like everything was free again. We can say what you want. And now with social media, which was the Wild West when it first came out, now they're, they're going the other direction again. It's like they're trying to censor everyone down to nothing again. Unless you got a five-year-old that you want to put him up in drag and shit like that and have him do a drag. No, but I'm talking about YouTube with my because look, people use YouTube because okay of monetization. Well, yeah, but that kid won't. They'll, they'll demonetize the video. They won't let him. They won't. No, let they him won't. Vote. That's that's acceptable. They wouldn't dare even think of that shit today. Today they allow you to do the sickest shit. No, allowed. I'm telling you, they were YouTube had had made a policy. They were going to demonetize excessive cur cursing, basically. No, I'm talking about something different. I'm saying they, they didn't want cursing. But they're gonna allow some, uh, you know, this drag queen story. story time. Didn't you ever see yeah. that? Yeah, no, yeah I know. But what what I'm saying is, I got news for you. Look, I deal with YouTube. Sid no, and I deal with YouTube behind the scenes. You guys just come on here and do the show. They have so <laughs> many little stupid nuances. You, if you, they have words you can't use in the title, and if you do, they demonetize the whole video. That you, it's it's crazy how censored we are. You just don't realize it, you guys, because you don't do it on a daily basis. But we're more censored today than we were back, you know, it's like it's like the 1970s again. I wasn't TikTok's talking like that, too. You got to say, instead of say killed, you have to say unalived. Right. Um, it's, you have to say yeah. trimbaloni sandwiches instead of trimbalone. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely yeah. ridiculous that we live it's in a censored baloney. society. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got that word. Well, Most of the trend is trend baloney. That's yeah. kind of yeah, I, know, right? <laughs> I was trying to get that. Uh, I was, I messaged that guy to get him on. I oh, did. He comes on. Yeah. Our mind had this guy uh, who's, who's a trend expert or a self-proclaimed trend expert who was going to come on the show. Trying to get him on the show to like tell us about his uh, theories on Trembolone. He thinks it makes his uh, penis bigger, and he thinks that. Uh, are we talking the the, the Finiplex H cartridges? Or are we talking? No, no, no like talking about Trembolone. His, I mean, his name's his uh, Trembolone was the was. Don't Finiplex. mention his name and just until until we get him on. But yeah, he, his name is Trend something. Other. He he's a trend. He's a self proclaimed Trembolone expert. You know who thinks that you know he's, you take. He thinks you could do like 2,000 milligrams a week of Trembolone. You know? Dude, I couldn't do 50. I was coughing up meatballs and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but Dave, These you kids remember are running a gram. About? I'm like, yeah, how could you run a gram with like, real? Wait, 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 one at a time. It can't be real. No way it's real. No, no, no way. I was say, Armand, remember the Finiplex H cartridges that was real Trembolone acetate? No. I, I, do. I do. Trend Hex. No, 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 fin no. The cartridges, not oh, the pellets. The pellets, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tren real trend acetate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. there's still trend acetate out there. No, no one wants to. But they, what happened was Trembolone disappeared. They pulled it off the veterinary market, but then yeah. they made a new version of it that were these pellets they would inject That's into the uh, into the cows. They would pop them in there. So yeah. bodybuilders yeah. got very ingenious, and they started figuring out ways to remove the fillers and to get, extract the drug from the pellet. And then put it into um, you know into an oil base, and that's what we were using back in the late nineties and early two thousands until Tremble. Yeah, none of that shit. What? Not me. I had real Parabone. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, yeah, but the, we had Parabone too, Greg. But Trembolone acetate was like the holy grail. Like it's like what Primabolin is today because it just wasn't available. So once it became available, everyone started using it because it worked really well. Obviously, you know? I know. Well, like, a couple well, brands Parabolin, that still make Parabolin, Parabolin and, um, acetate though. No, no, but it was the oh, same. That is trend, you know. It, it's the same but drug. Power bowl the is the seems to work a little better, though, you know. Pa Dave, you remember real power bowl? And that shit was like I no bought joke. it in the pharmacies in uh, in Andorra. Who can it, pronounce that ester? Right. Hex, hex something. It's like, it's like this carbonate. No, it's you're missing. So, like so uh, yeah, that's Larry, yeah, Larry I don't know. Could. <laughs> the original parabola? Yeah, yeah. It was, what was the what was, was how do you pronounce that ester? It, it started with hex. Hexacarbonate. Hexa, right? Wasn't it? Wasn't it hexadecanate? 
No, no, no. It was it's really long. It's like board. Board. It was this long. Board. Board. It was huge. Oh, I don't know. I, yeah, I got it. Trembolone hexahydro benk cyclocarbonate. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Go, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone abbreviated uh, Trend Hex. That was Hex. The way. So we always called Trend Hex. Well, it, yeah. Trend, yeah. yeah. It, it came in a CC and a half, 76.5 yep. milligrams. Yep. Yep. Wait, Parable on those. Yeah, was, yeah, there's still milligrams. some companies that make that, though, and it works well. I remember, Dave, when we were prepping, uh, we did our first two shows as a heavyweight. I had train ace. I got a horrible infection in my quad. I couldn't train for six weeks. But from one show to the next, I got some of those, and I was taking three amps a week, and I put on 14 pounds going into the show. Good stuff. It was great stuff, yeah. It was, yeah, it was crazy, yeah. None of you guys uh, off? None of you guys got actually that? Sold, for, his, for, for you guys, for your Trembolone historians out there, it was actually sold under two names, under Parabolin and Hexabolin. Did mm. you know that? Mm. I didn't know it was sold under Hexabolin. I didn't Parabolin. know it was Hex, Hexabolin. It was made they, in France. It was made they in They had Finijet as well. Ampules. Ampules. The little Finijet ampules. Finijet and Finijet. There was two. Horshaw yeah. England. Made, made Horshaw England made it? Yeah, Finijet was a tremble of acetate. Exactly. Right. If you yeah. See, if you went from Barcelona, there was a tunnel that went through the mountain, uh, Pyrenees <laughs> Mountain. And if you went through there, when you came out the other side, you were in a, a little municipality called Andorra. Yes. It was like ruled by like a prince. It was like yes. a not. It was a it's, another, it's another. It's another country. Yes. Everything it's, another country. it's actually everything really cute. There. I've been there many times. It, it's got no taxes there, no so taxes. everything you can buy is tax free. And can on the other side of it, if you leave the, through the other side, you wind up in France. You, yes. so you can leave. The, yep. So this pharmacies in Andorra have stuff from. Spain and stuff from France, so it's a great gut place to go if you're a steroid seeking bodybuilder looking for French and and, and Spanish steroids because they're both there. Yeah, it was uh, one of the few places that you could get um, um, biomucase injectable and biomucase yeah. suppository. Had, had you, did you go to Andorra? Um, no, I had people over there send like like if someone like you was was over there and send me something. Yeah. I didn't send you anything, but yeah, no, I, 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 I did send other people. Back. I've never gotten anything from you ever. I mean, just no, no I, if I did, I would tell you. No, I went there and we we got Parabolin there. Uh, they had a drug called Dynabolin. You remember that drug? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Dynabolin was like a like a Deca Masteron like kind of like you know type of drug. And did Shane talk about that shit a lot? Did Shane? What? Think yeah, he might have. Yeah, he's about that. I had never seen, I had never heard of it until I went there. To be honest with you, Dynabolin. And then they had, um, they had like you said, the French like thiamu case there, but they did not have Masteron there because, or it was called Permastrol at the time, I think, Masteron. because I think they had just stopped making it or something like that. This was in 1992, right after the Barcelona Olympics. I went there, so, but it was cool. It was pretty cool. So so Masteron, like I have this debate with a lot of people, a lot. So the big, the kids, you know, they go to each drug and one's popular they hear of. So now everybody's taking Masteron now. And I tell people, if you're not under a certain body fat percentage, you really can't tell that it's doing anything to your physique. And they argue back and forth. What's your thoughts on that? Well, steroids it's don't burn fat. They build and repair muscle. You're so fake. Yeah. I know no, I'm saying. If they're, if they're like a certain body fat percentage and they're taking Masteron, they're not going to notice much with their physique, right? Yeah, well, if, you really take, if you take Trenbolone on, on a lean physique, you're going to see, you know, big changes in it. You know, if you take it and you're fat, you're just going to be fat and, and, and bloated. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, the reason why people think certain steroids are better pre-contest is because conventionally people always use them pre-contest when you're the leanest. Right. So, of course, you look better on it. I guarantee you, I've seen guys that are poor as shit and have taken – They've competed on testosterone and like a shot of winstrel, you know, every other day. And they look as good, if not better, than people that are on 15 drugs. And, and I've, seen, I've seen people on, on the on the ladder that take winstrel in the offseason and it doesn't do shit for them. You can't tell the difference at all. Okay. North yeah, Americans I, that year, Dave, when I was with Dave, yeah. uh, I took only testosterone and GH. I, I thought I was taking other stuff, but I tested it and everything was <laughs> testosterone. So I was taking like two gram, two or three grams of testosterone, yeah. but 
I looked great. I wasn't taking, I mean, everything was testosterone. Guys, you know who's a perfect example of this? George the Bull, rest in peace. Remember? Yeah. He thought he was taking a bunch of stuff, and then when it came back, he was really just on testosterone. Yeah, when they did his autopsy report, yeah, and then they found out he was – he wasn't even on anything that he thought he was on. So that's it, crazy. You diet hard and you take testosterone, you can and maintain all your muscle mass. This muscle is is got you know shape and size to it. You know, all you got to do is strip the fat off. You don't need to have anything fancy mm-hmm. uh, to look your best, really. To be Dave, honest my, with you, Dave, my friend took just suspension. He used to take test suspension, sometimes a little bit Absolutely. of duct, and he fucking. He would lower the suspension, but just enough. And he used to get ripped and big from that shit. Yeah, sure. because it's the diet that does it, you know. Right, the diet. Yeah. But, I mean, that's suspension, too. That's a fucking that, – nothing hit people like that's a freight train right there. Not people don't understand that how strong testosterone is. I mean, every day on TikTok, I get called a liar every day. And there's, and there's that one guy that made seven videos of me calling me a liar <laughs> that says I take full cycles. I literally tell people. I take TRT for half the year, then I'll bump my testosterone up to four or five hundred, and I'll take Anabar eight weeks on, eight weeks off, and then in the summer eight weeks on, and then some MK, some Seromax that I sell. And I'm called a liar. You're running trend. I'm like, if you lift weights and bodybuild for twenty <laughs> years, your muscle's not going to go away if you don't stop training and and, and get. You know, we don't need six meals a day anymore. I eat, I eat about three meals a day, but I, my weight stays around 260, 270. Oh, like, I would be 300 if I took a real cycle. Oh, you, you, you go on TikTok because you, you market yourself, and I understand yeah. that. But going on TikTok is like basically jumping into a pool of like 25 Boston Lloyds on there. <laughs> <laughs> not like the Boston Lloyds, like we knew, like, like a 16-year-old Boston Lloyds. You know. <laughs> You can't beat it. It's like you might as well put your head through a wall going on there. It's not even worth it. It's, it's nuts. Stuff. They have zero understanding of genetics. They don't yeah. understand how someone could be genetically superior to someone else. They're like, well, Dor- their argument's like, well, Dorian Yates is retired and he's not 260 or 270. I'm like, because he rides bicycles. He does yoga. Yeah. He does a, <laughs> like, he purposely keeps that. Well, I he mean, wants to be fit. Yeah. If he got in, he wants like to be fit. He's like 60 years old, camp. too, you know? What's Jimmy yeah. doing? Yeah, wait a minute, Jimmy. What, what are you, Jimmy? What are you barbecuing him? over there, Jimmy? Yeah, what's going on, buddy? Jimmy, you're not New York, man. I see green grass. We're fucking. Yeah, that's his. Ha- that's no. his backyard. No, it's yeah, not. That's his backyard. Yeah. But wait, yeah. where's his grass? What, what do you say? What are you doing? It's snowing a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Jimmy. Jimmy. Where's the oh, snow? Wow. <laughs> Holy shit! It's snowing like a mother. <laughs> yeah. Greg, that's like oh, the video you fuck I have. Here in May, it was snowing. Look, do you hear what he said, John? I got to get you. What he said? He's still talking about getting out of New York, John. <laughs> he, he's talked about that so much now, Dave, that it's like the words don't even register in my ears anymore. It's like, <laughs> it's like when Jimmy starts Jimmy, talking about it, I like t-shirt. start thinking about, you know, pasta. Could y'all Jimmy, even imagine are you, are you back to New York? <sighs> no. Yeah, Jimmy, are you Look, limping? Should you back? Dude, I don't see yeah, no shit. Yeah, my I'm back like- is killing me today, man. Listen to how out of breath he is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of breath too. You all right? I don't know. You might be going yeah. for a heart surgery with me uh, next week, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been going to the doctor. You know, I, I, I was telling Dave earlier, I, ha- I had to go get, I got to have my spine checked because I, I, I'm, I, I'm crippled, you know? I was in the gym the other day. I, I, I was curling. I was, I was walking like this in the gym. You know, everybody's looking at me. I'm going across. <laughs> you know. My friend John's like, I'm embarrassed to train with you. He goes, look at you. He goes, you, you can't even bench your uh, quarters on each side. You, you're bent over. He goes, what the, what's wrong with you? I said, what's wrong? I'm going on a 64. That's what's wrong with me. All right? And I had a long career. And I, I labored all my life. That, you want to know what's wrong with me? That's what's wrong with me. All right? So I, went, I made the appointment to go see the spine guy. Nice guy, young young Indian guy. I looked him up. He was very. Uh, he went to uh, Brown's University. All, all kind. Of, a surgeon, eight years. And I, so I go into the X-ray room. It's a true story. I walk in, all bent over. You know, I was after work. I go in the back. There's this beautiful girl comes out. The technician, blonde, beautiful. I said, Oh Jesus Christ, man. 
I said, I, no, not not this girl. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I feel horrible. I look horrible. I, I got no sleep, but I got this gorgeous girl. Is gonna. She walks over. She goes, hi, James. She goes, we're going to x-ray the back today and the neck. I says, okay. She goes, take off your pants. I go, <laughs> I says, uh, why am I taking my pants off if I'm x-raying my back? I, I, I don't understand. I said, what? That's below my back. Right? I got to take my pants off? I said, she says, well, you got to put this robe on. I said, I said listen, hon, no, no. I can't get this robe on. It goes on from the front. I can't. How am I going to get this thing on? I, I can't even I can't even tie it in the back. I, mean, I said, look, I said, I'll tell you what. I said, I'm just going to take my fucking my pants off. Tie it off. in the front. I said, oh. Oh. No, it's got these little strings on it, bro. Yeah, so yeah. when you put it on, yeah. you can only, you can only like, get, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, she's yeah. going to tie it back for you. I, no, she was like, she was doing like this. I was taking my pants off, right? So I said, listen, I got shorts on, man. I don't wear like uh, bikini uh, thongs. I said, don't worry about it. I got shorts on. <laughs> so she said, all right. I take them off. She starts x-raying me. Good, fine. I'm done. I get dressed. I go down. I'm sitting waiting for the doctor. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Finally, the guy comes in. <laughs> I says, he sits down. He goes, how are you doing, James? Oh, he goes, I looked at your pictures. He goes, very interesting. I says, interesting? I says, well, like, like, in what way? I says, I have a, don't I have a spine like everybody else? I mean, you know, he says, uh, well, he goes, you know, you have a spine of a, a man that labored all his life and <laughs> lifted tons of weight. I says, yeah, pretty much, you know. He says, I said, listen, I don't want to end up like my brother. My brother had to get emergency surgery. I said he made a he made it he lifted a car tire and he turned it and the gel came out uh, you know out of the vertebrae there you know and, and, and it went into yeah. the nerve canal. Your disc, he, yeah, it's like a jelly yeah. donut. Yeah, right. When he when he when he I guess when he twisted, it came it, it, sh it shot out and it went into the nerve. My brother couldn't move. So anyway, the doctor looks at me and goes, he goes, James, you don't have to worry about that. You know that's never going to happen to you. I said, why is that? You got no disc. He says everything is fused in the back. He said there's nothing left. He said, because matter of fact, I never seen anything like it in my life. Eight years ago, he goes, I never seen anything like this. He, goes, he said your vertebrae are actually fused. I said, you are? I said so. I said, I said, well, is that bad or good? He said, he goes, listen. You got, he goes, you got away with a surgery. You you don't even. Uh, need to yeah, surgery. normally yeah. people have to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's His telling me, you know, fused, it, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's fused. I'm, he goes, listen, he goes, listen, he goes, let, me, let me be honest with you, James. I said, yeah, okay, you can call me Jimmy. Don't call me, please. The James is too formal. Okay, he goes, Jimmy, he goes, I'll be honest with you. He goes, I said, well, wait a minute, hold, hold on. I said, before you get there, I said, well, how about the numb feet? I got numb toes. How about that? He goes, well, are you still driving the truck? I go, yeah. He goes, you go to the gym? I go, yeah. He goes, you go to the sumo? I go, yeah. He goes, he goes, live with it. Don't worry about it. I go, live with it? I, go, you, I said, you, are, you, are you serious? L live with numb toes? I said, you know how uncomfortable this is? When I get into bed at night and I got my feet under the sheets, I don't even know if my feet are under the sheets. I said, the toes are completely numb. I said, I, I, I put my shoes on. I can't feel my feet. I said, they cramp up. My toes go like this during the night. I can't even unlock them. I says, really, Doc? You know, he says, listen, he goes, Shay. I said, how about surgery? He goes, I'm not giving you surgery. He says, listen, he goes, look at the picture. He goes, your, your vertebrae are very healthy. The bone is very healthy. He goes, you just got no disc. He said, listen, he goes, just don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not giving you no surgery. He goes, live with it. Yeah. And so then he, he gives me this uh, medicine. I don't know what the name. They probably know. It was a really strong uh, uh, anti-deflammatory. So he goes, I'll give you that. I said, how about the shots in the back? He goes, nah. He goes, that's just a Band-Aid. He goes, you, you don't want that. I says, Jesus Christ, this guy's not doing anything for me. <laughs> I says, all right, thanks, doc. Yeah. So I go to the pharmacy. I'm standing on this line. I'm waiting for the medic because they called it in already. And I'm waiting on the line. There's a lady behind me. She was, a, she was a foreigner, you know. And she's got that little white thing in her ear. And she's yelling at her. Yelling, I'm, I'm, I'm like in front of her. I'm going, this lady, what? I mean, isn't she embarrassed? She's like talking on the phone so loud. I finally get up to the counter and I'm like trying to talk to the lady about the prescription. And this woman's behind me. And I, go, ah, I, 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 I finally turn around. I said, listen, man, could you do me a favor? Could you like tone it down a little bit? I'm trying to, I can't even hear the, the lady at the counter over here. I mean, I, what is it with you with the phone? So she, she, she calmed down. I said, thank you. And I, and then I got my prescription. And I left. I mean, like. People are out of their minds, bro. Like, you know, the doctors, the, the pharmacies, everybody's nuts. Nuts. 
You got to go with Dave and me to uh, get some stem cell from Dr. Khan. They won't oh. even be able to puncture his vein, uh, Armand. Get the no. stem cell. Yeah. Or oh, my, fr- my, my train of thought just went to Puerto Rico. His, his uh, sister's got a hookup down there. Uh, for uh, that's like ten thousand a shot for the for the yeah. for the uh, for the stem cell because it was yeah. like thirty thousand in California. So he went to Puerto Rico. He's going next. You can't week. do it in the we Armand and I interviewed a, the stem cell guy, Adil uh, Khan, and he told us that no stem cells in the United States are real stem cells. You're getting like exosomes, oh. or you're getting like growth factors. You're not going to really get massive stem cells because they're illegal here. He said so. You yeah. have to go to Mexico or. He's doing them in Dubai now and Canada, but the United States right now, you can't get real stem cells. Yeah, then you get shot by work. You got Larry to get you out of there. Yeah, right. They exactly. They don't, they, don't they don't want to cure you, you know. I'm Jimmy, you get, Jimmy's going to get I Jimmy. I can't even get teeth. Sick. I got to get stem shell shots. I no, can't, Jimmy, I can't, you got to come here with You got to come to the warm weather. You got to come training with us, from your fight training with us. And I can guarantee you in two months, I'll have. That neuropathy go away from your from your feet. You'll be able to feel your feet again if you come here. You know what's going to happen, John? I I I think hundred percent. Hold on, I, I think this whole thing. Out. Jimmy, we've been hawking Jimmy to move down here. He's Mr. G will talk him into moving down there with him, and it's going to be Jimmy and Mr. G in a house here. It's going to be like like Felix Unger and Oscar Madison. The <laughs> and, and, we're gonna film it, and we're going to yeah. film it, and we're going to film it, and and because. Broadcast. Jimmy's very neat and, 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 you know, military, you know, you know, and Mr. G, everything is everywhere because, you know, that's his. You know, oh, oh, hold on. That's not true. I'm neat, neat too. Yeah. Yeah. It's an Oscar. I'm, I'm Irish neat. <laughs> and you, and, and you're, 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 you're going to hear Jimmy saying, you're, I'm, I'm George, George, George. Irish. John, John, Dave, I, I, I have to, I'm, I'm going to be brutally honest with everybody on the show and myself, okay? <laughs> I am the biggest freaking procrastinator in the world. Right? <laughs> I, know, what I, 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 I have to, I have to admit it because I lie to myself. I say, no, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Like I went, I went to the doctor. I got the blood work, right? I, I, I go to the following week for a checkup. He put that fucking, the, the camera up the butt, you know, all they did all that, you know? And then he says, uh, James, he goes, uh, let's talk about your testosterone. Cause I had my testosterone level check. He goes, let's like, he goes, you want to talk about your testosterone? I go, yeah, I'd like to talk about my testosterone. Yeah. Where, where am I at? He says, you're about 190 something. I says, is that good? He says, no. he says, that's, that's terrible. terrible. He says, you wow, can't, you, he says, what? Yeah. He, 195. Holy. So he says, you can't you, listen. He goes, you got to go on testosterone therapy. He says, "I'm going to give you a shot now." And I was, I was like, "Wait a minute! I don't want, I don't want a shot right now, please." I said, "I just got <laughs> off work. I'm dead tired. I, I, maybe I'll have a heart attack if you give me a shot." He goes, "It's not." He goes, "It's not a stimulant. Right. You're not going to get a heart attack." Hold he on, says, wait a second, Jimmy. Yeah. You took a million shots over your life. Over your I know. Life. I don't get it. Like, you're afraid you're to get an HRT shot Dave. at the doctor's office, Dave. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. What are you doing? Your I am turning into an old man. Okay, when I was younger, I used to get up in the morning when I was married to Anadrol, suspension, testosterone, sipionate, <laughs> sustenon, right? That's how I woke up in the morning. That's how I got that was that was my breakfast. I didn't even think about it. Now I got testosterone sitting on my desk. Look at this shit. I got two months supply sitting there, okay? Because I don't want to do it, I'm afraid. You and, can do a uh, sub Q <laughs> now though. You can do a sub Q. Huh? You, you would do it in that? Q. Don't confuse him, Armand. You, you're gonna, it's like telling your yeah, father yeah, yeah. that he can't. That we have a new remote control for the TV. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. You, you so, you know, my, my, my bro, my, yeah, Jimmy, I know. you're becoming a female. You, you I, know, I, I'm, I'm becoming a female. You're, you're right, becoming Jimmy. a female. You, as yeah. a, your T is so low. Listen, I got, to st- I got prescription, to st- <laughs> a legal prescription. You know, legally, I could do the stuff because I have none. Like, I have no disc. I, I'm falling apart. So my brother comes over here the other day, sit in my office. He goes, what do you do with all those bottles of testosterone? I said, I got it from the doctor. He goes, what you got? He goes, how many bottles you got there? I said, I don't know, eight, nine. He goes, what are you going to do? He goes, what are you going to do? What, you going to do it? I said, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow? I said, I've been telling my trainer about <laughs> that. Oh, let me see those bottles. <laughs> Take those bottles out of here. Show us. Are they single dose, counter. single use? Jimmy, or... after after two shots, you're no, going to hop on your, on your bike bought, and drive down. I think, down got, I think he's got estrogen. That's what happened, you know. Hey, they look, gave him estrogen bottles. This is legit shit. Look. Oh, you got the one ML bottles. Yeah. Oh, those are one ML. I think they make a multi-use for, for legit. That's, that's, that's expensive. He probably pays nothing for that, too, because of the right. GBA. That lasts yeah, like I, uh, I don't, I don't pay. I mean. 
This is, yeah. you know, <laughs> this is prescription testosterone, man. So, so how much right. is it, Jimmy? Jimmy what are they charge? I don't, I, they don't, I don't pay a he shit. I go down to, so He's here's the, the thing. I go down to the pharmacy the other day because I went to go pick it up. Uh-huh. And this is the second time this happened now. So I go down there. I pick. I, I says hi. I'm not feeling like weird to even ask if I never. You know, I always used to buy black market. I never went to freaking pharmacy. You know, except for back in the day with uh, with Jimmy. But anyway, <laughs> I, I I go up to the counter. I says uh, she gives me the box. You know, right away. You know, I check the. You got to check the merchandise. I open up the bag. I'm looking. You know, I'm looking. I go wait a minute. I says uh, excuse me, man. But where's where's the syringes? Oh, she says, uh, you need syringes? I said, well, how the hell am I going to do a sauce and water syringe? <laughs> I said, I, I, said, I, said, I, like, I, I was like, I assumed that you had your own syringes because look I, at well, you. Where? I mean, so I'm like, I haven't done just not showing in like eight years. I'm like, I says, I, I, I says, I need to, I have to transport the, I have to, you know, how am I going to, I need the syringe lady. She says, she says, uh, all right. She says, you know what? Can you come back in a couple of hours? I said, yeah, I'll come back in a couple of hours. I said, what do you got to do? Make it? She says, no, no, we got to just look in the back and we're very busy right now. I says, okay, look in the back. You know, I get a text two hours later. It's not covered by the insurance, the, the, the syringes. So mm. I go back and I, and How I, much I did a syringe in. cost? The quarter like, of dollars. That's, that's not the point. It's like, I, I, I know. So anyway, I went back. Yeah, oh, Jimmy, you know, you can order at syringes on Amazon, right? You can buy a I, box of a hundred is like 15, 15 bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I, all right, that's good information. But you know, so I, I, I went back. I know, I, 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 information, I, 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 Although in New York, who knows, John? You know, yeah. it's true, Dave. John, you know me. I'm like a dinosaur, man. So I, you know, I, I go back and I, I said, "Did you get my syringes?" She says, "Yeah, here." She gave me the bag, so I opened up the bag. I said, "Oh, good, great." I get the bag. I'm opening. John, up he the actually bag. went all the way back yeah. to the pharmacy. I went back. Gave him I went back for a fifteen dollars. No. Yeah. Yeah, they probably only gave I'm him three three. They gave me he probably three. spent twenty dollars in gas just to get there. You know? Watch, they gave him four, four, three or four, right? No, yeah, probably. It's better than that, John. They gave I, opened one. Up, I opened up the bag. It's the heads. The heads. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying. I said, I says, excuse me, uh, hon. The girl's like twenty years old in the back there. I says, yeah. uh, I, I said, these are the these are the heads to the yeah. syringe. I says, I actually need the plunger. I said because I got to draw it out of the bottle, and I got to, you know. I says, I need the whole thing. I says, you're just giving me the heads. What am I gonna do with the heads? She says, oh, oh, you need the whole thing. I says, yeah, I need the whole thing, not just the head. I just, what am I gonna do with the head? She goes, can you come back? I said, hey, I'll come oh back. I'll grab him. I come back. I don't give a shit at this point. I, 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 I leave. I get a text. She says, tomorrow. They, they, they're they on order. So oh, I, 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 I go back to the work. You're going from to. Amazon. I didn't. What do, what, John, what do I haven't done this shit in three, years? Three trips to the CVS already. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm sorry. And, and, and we think he's moving. He can't buy a box of fucking syringes. He's not going anywhere. John, yes, he is. Once he does one John. shot, John. Georgie, John, he's like are, a woman now. Georgie, you he's are not, He's like a woman. He's not a man. He is not going. He'll be the old anywhere. Jimmy. He'll the be like way, a maniac. George, the George only like, way he is going anywhere is if you drive up there, <laughs> wrap him with buck tape and, oh, and, and that shipping oh. cellophane, Stuff him in the seat like and drive him down. That's it. The only way. Other than that, forget about it. No, one shot. He he wants to get up and go. And anyway, I, I go. I go get back. up and go is gone. It's, I he wants to stop. I went, got a chance of being in Florida. George, I went back. Right Georgie, hey, I went back. Hey. I went back, and they had the they had the plunger. I said, "Oh, thank God." No <laughs> she got the, She says, uh, "But the insurance don't cover." I said, "Well, what?" I said, "Well, how much is this shit?" She says fifty cents. I said, well, "Here, take the take the thing out of here." I said, "Give me just give me the freaking things, man." Did you get more <laughs> than one? So how many did you get? Four. Four. <laughs> four. <laughs> Two bucks. So I I go home and I'm telling my my trainer partner John the story and he's like, "Why do you even bother?" I go, "What do you mean? Why do I bother?" I says, "I need the syringes, John, to do the testosterone." He goes, "You're never gonna do this." He says, "You're never gonna do the testosterone." He goes, "Why you? Why you spend all that time going back and forth? You're never gonna do it." He goes, "I don't understand you." I said, "I said no, I'm gonna do it, John. I'll probably do it this week." Yeah, sure. He said, "Right." Hey, Greg. 
Greg, yeah. if, if you would have picked up those four syringes, that would have lasted you, what, about five years? Using the I would have reused ones? them. I would have yeah. been fucking... Yeah. They would have been like fish hooks. When I, was, <laughs> shit, I'd be sticking them in. I got oh. scar tissue and shit. That shit would be like fucking... Yeah. Um, Greg, I used to do that too. I used to use the... So I used to have two needles. I had one big fat one to draw the shit out of the bottle. Yeah. And then I would, you know, and then I put it in the thing and I would switch the head and I would yeah. use the same needle. Over and over. I mean, I never changed the needle, man. I, Dude, I, I you know. get a loading needle, though. You can't sit there for a fucking hour with that. No, oil. yeah, no way. And you sit there, and I don't know how guys do that. They use they, like these pussies. They are using fucking uh, like like you know what do you call it? Uh, it's you know, insulin syringes and shit. Yeah. You know, it's like a hair, and it's nah. this big because they're afraid to. Let stick me see. It. I'll show you. I what was they gave like they gave gauge in me. You know what I mean? Hold on. They, they, uh, I did that all the time, man. I used to do it till I heard it ripping through my air, my skin. You know, me I wouldn't too. even. Uh, yeah, I would never go get new ones. Fuck that. Greg, what size did you use for your arms when you had? I'd be the, dropping it on arms. the floor, blowing it off, and sticking uh, it in. And getting uh, infected and that's, shit, why you had a, that's why you had an infection. You yep. right? Greg. Yeah, I'm a fucking momo, though. That's what happened. Just you know, you get it now. Greg, I only use insulin syringes. What's that? I only use insulin syringes. But Larry, you backload. You pull out okay. the back and you... Yeah. Well, Larry, I take back. that back. Yeah. I don't want you coming to my house. I'm sorry. Oh, look, Greg. <laughs> they, actually, they actually gave it to me. Look, Greg. They gave me the drawing... The drawing... The, the drawing oh, okay. One. Oh shit! And then, and then they gave me the, and then they gave me the, the you know, the the, the regular one. Did you, they gave you a loading needle. A tw did you what? Yeah. Twenty two gauge. You they gave 20 me the loading grade. needle, man. I was surprised. Did you know, you and then they, that they gave it. They just no, it. I did not. She just gave it to me, and I opened up. And when I finally opened up the bag, the, the final, the reason, you know, the reason, oh, oh, the reason why you guys want to use, the reason why you want to use a loading syringe is not because of the fact that it comes out fast, which is definitely helpful. It's because. When you put the plunger in, uh, the, the needle in the, to draw it, it out, even if it you're dulls. drawing it out of glass, yeah. it dulls the hell out of that right. needle. So you, exactly. you, you it curls the end of the pin. Yeah, the you want to actually use a new needle when you're injecting it into yourself. Now, exactly. like what, what, what Larry said, what Larry's doing is he's backloading. So he uses the oh, instant is that what switch and pulls the yeah, you take out, the one loads she's... it up, puts the tip, puts the plunger in. Flips it upside down, lets the bubble go, and then push it out. So that's how you could do it with insulin syringe. Because I'm like, I don't know how you get that. Thing's like a hair. How no, do you, you don't draw it with it, bro. You don't draw you it. You know what? You, could, you can use a 20. If They sell on Amazon 27-gauge insulin syringes. They're 1 mLs. You can draw up a, You can draw up testosterone pretty quickly with a 27-gauge insulin needle. If you, you, heat heat it up, you can put it in like a hot a bu a, you don't even have water. to john if you if you if you though if you draw it up with that 27 gauge it, it comes up pretty easily but it does it, it, it dulls the needle when you do that it dulls the needle yes yeah, definitely dulls the needle but wait let me ask larry a question larry Look at that so when you shoot it it <laughs> does it come right out like this or do you have to sit there for like an hour and yeah, you know what i mean like, well it depends how much scar tissue you got greg <laughs> <laughs> no you just you take the one cc insulin syringe with a half inch tip and you yeah. back load it like uh, I mean, I mean, said, yep. and then I, uh, you, you can inject whatever you want, put in your shoulder, wherever you want. You have to just add a lot of kinetic to, to get to get, that, to get the plunger back on there without pushing the testosterone at the. Tip. No, it's easy. You just no, you, yeah. you you turn it upside down. Yeah, and there's a little tiny bubble, and you push yeah. it out. Yeah, I, I know how to do that, but it's not so try. easy for the average person to do it. As no, well. but wait, I want to know, Larry, doesn't it take a long time to even know, like, when you shoot no, it? No, nah, no. Nah, it really? Right away. No, it goes you right through. Why? It's way different than... Pull. You know why? Because why? The, Larry, insulin, the insulin pin is thinner, Greg, so the right, oil goes pressure. out directly, whereas when you use a 3cc... It's yes. it's got a wider barrel, yes. so that it's trying to get through a smaller opening yes. with a wider barrel. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. But this works on Larry because you're really lean. You know, Greg, we no, used to do the I used to do the sustenance no, no, straight out of the I, I do straight it because... out of the package years ago. Yeah, you you I used to leave a, a hole in my leg. You ever try to use a five that ml syringe? Best, Jimmy. Oh my god, they're the worst, Dave. Five so ml. I want to so make an announcement. Dave, excuse me, guys. I just got to make a quick announcement because, what? Uh, you know, when I, I remember I told you I, the UPS called me. They said they had a package down at the uh, at the, the place. Omaha huh? Steaks. Yeah, Omaha yeah, Steaks. Yeah, right. The Omaha Steaks, right? So I didn't know who it was from when I was I said on the show. I was telling the story. I just got the phone call. So I finally went down here. And then later when I got home, I opened up the letter. And it was from, you know, one of our greatest fans, Joe Zapata, right? And I think yeah. you know him, Dave, right? 
Great man. So Ghost of Potter sent me a, uh, a gift certificate. Yeah. To a, oh, yeah, yeah. Great, oh, great, great guy. So now, uh, now, he sent me now a Starbucks I, gift. I have to thank him for that. Yeah, thank you for yeah, reminding me. He sent but, me a yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, I, 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 you know, UPS calls me again. I go down here, Joe Zapata, you know, again. Look what he sends me, man. Fucking Marine Corps, you know, Marine oh. Corps shirt. Nylon. Oh, awesome. I got, nice. I got the, I got the, look, I got the sweatpants, you know, with the Marine Corps emblem on it because he knows, you know, right. uh, you know, cool. yeah. And uh, and now he's sending me uh, shoes. And I says, yeah. He goes, what else you need? I go, shit, I need shoes. I need, I need sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> tell he goes, me, hey, how you, many shirts do you get a month? Tell him you need some dental implants because he maybe he'll buy you those. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I said, I said, I said, let me send you some money. I feel terrible. You send me all this stuff, man. He goes, no. He goes, I don't want no money. You guys are great. I said, yeah, but you know, I said, I want those sneakers and those boots, man. I said, I said, you know, I got. Let me send you. Some. He don't want no money, man. He's, he's a great kid. You know, he's, uh, make sure you say I know him in person. I I know him in person. I've met him. He's oh. from Jersey. He's a good guy. Yeah. He used to go to yeah. Bob Bonham's gym. I've met him there at Bob's gym, strong and shaky. Yeah, he sent me I'm a gift certificate. To... I mean, a, a gift card for Starbucks. Oh nice. uh, yeah. He sent me things too. I don't, I don't like, you know, I don't want stuff sent to me. But he's a good guy, man. He's a really good guy. No, he's a, he, listen. I, I didn't look. I didn't even know the Omaha steaks were coming. You know, until I got the phone call from you. Have you, have you eaten them yet? Yeah, I started eating. I, I was eating the. Uh, he said like chicken, uh, like chicken cutlets came in with it too. I mean, you, I'll you know, come so down to your house later on. We'll eat good. <laughs> yeah, man, I got I got uh, filet mignon tips and burgers and oh, uh, you know. Uh, so uh, you do, Jimmy, someone says you do gay uh, gay for steaks. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> it's a possibility. Yeah, I mean, you know, if the steaks are uh, you know any good. You know, I mean, the way You're the world's going today. That's coming from a guy I called Butt Naked. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, get me now. While I'm at testosterone is low. Now's the time That's to get right, me. Right, right. right. Otherwise, right. Okay? Cause you're, you're emotional. You're like, like I'm, I'm very, I'm very emotional. Um, I'm very emotional. <laughs> remember, remember Bull Stanton's <laughs> work. <laughs> Oh, they even had Bill hot Stanton, dogs. John, I didn't know Omaha Steak made hot dogs. Bill they Stanton. had hot dogs. Chris dogs. Duffy. Chris, that's right. <laughs> yep, you remember. That was a little trivia. Some of those traumas are hard to live down. because <laughs> Truly. I, I, I was kind of like friends with him, and I had no idea at all. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. On. He was a nice, he's really good. He's a really good guy, too. Yeah, he is. Really good guy. <laughs> He was dating that girl, rumor, Joni Bovino. That girl, Joni. Oh, Joni. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Married Our friend her. used to say they were married. Was, they were she's, married. She had an incredible physique. She was from Merrick, wasn't she? She stayed Merrick with him her. while he was yeah. in his bull Stanton. Yeah, well, they were making good money, probably. She didn't, leave. she didn't know, did she? <clears throat> yeah, she no, knew. No, no, oh, she they knew. They knew. They knew. They had a weird relationship. Very kind of interesting. Yeah. Greg would love him. Sit. He's a good guy. Are you talking about uh, what's his name? Um, Chris uh, Duffy. Uh, was it National Steroids? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know him, Greg. Hey, yeah, pull up a picture of him. Him yeah. and Joni Bavino. He came out of nowhere. The guy was wait, you're talking about, Wait, you're talking about... Um, Jesus he won. Christ, he won the nationals. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Irish, out of nowhere. He, he he won the he won the the, the L A. I think he won the Cal and he won the yeah, nationals. What's yeah. his name? Holy shit, dude! I used to see him walking around with his little Chinese. He just boy. said his name, it, Chris Duffy. Chris Duffy. <laughs> Chris Duffy. I can't I'm still hey, thinking hey, about John. Him. John, rumor oh, has it he um, was tripping on LSD doing his posing routine. Yes, uh, well, he, he used to diet on that LSD. Okay, so what? it's not a rumor. Oh, I, that's I, crazy. I knew my sources were right. I knew my sources. Dude, were right. I used to see him walking around with his little Chinese boy down over by Johnny Latt's gym. <laughs> Are you, you know, serious? Yeah, because he does gay porn and shit. No, I know he did. Yeah, I know he did. That's where that bull Stanton shit comes from. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hold Apparently, on. he had his arm. But he, all the way up somebody's uh, rectum. That's, oh, nice. that's yeah, that's him, Christian Duffy. Yeah, yeah. he's a big he, guy, tall too. Yeah. Good he's physique too. Oh Real wait, let me. Physique. I think I know that dude. You, you do. Make that you, know, you know Joni oh, too, Bavino. Jimmy, you know him. He, wait, he, he knows Joni Bavino more than he yeah. knows him. That's right. the guy. He when I was in Florida at Mike Quinn's house. Yes. He there was is. taking LSD doing squats in the in the uh, <laughs> yes. That's then, nuts. We, then we then we all went out to dinner and his his girlfriend or wife was sitting next to me and he was on the Tony. and yeah, whatever are they still together? No, no, no. Because <laughs> no. I was sitting at the table and uh, the table had a long, t you know, tablecloth, you know, draped over. You know, we're all eating. Mike Quinn, a whole bunch of people, a couple of his friends from England, and all, and all, and the, and the girls rubbing my leg inside my crotch under the table. 
and Chris Steffi was right there. And I'm oh. saying, my, I was like petrified. I didn't move. I was that wasn't hard. That was him. No, they were into that. I think they were into that. That was him rubbing your leg. <laughs> no, he started, it wasn't because he sat. He was oh. over. <laughs> they probably oh. He had a long leg, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> George is funny. I can't get over Here we go with the phone call. Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, that oh, was yeah, Joni. Hi, huh? yeah, that's, that's the girl. Joni. Yes, that's Joni. She was unbelievable. Let me make it a little bigger. She was ahead of her time. Yeah. Yeah, that is. She hot. was unreal. Yeah, yeah that's her. Yeah, for that. Yeah, she time, was rubbing my leg really... under the table and everything, you know. And I'm like, holy shit! I said, man, if Chris Tuffy sees this, he's out of his mind. He's, he's going to jump funny. over that I table. I used to have this kid used to drive me to the airport. He was a good friend of mine back in, in Long Island. He used to fix my computers and stuff. And he's like, you know, I think you know my um my aunt. I said. Why would I know your aunt? He, well, she was a bodybuilder back in the day. I said, well, what's her name? He's like, Joni Bovino. Or Joni. I said, Joni Bovino? He goes, yeah, you know her? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, no, she was. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, she was what a little crazy, too, that? man. Yeah. She was a little crazy, too. You know who was Wait. dating her for a while? My friend Vinny. You know Vinny Hansick? May he rest in peace. Oh, Carl, Carl Hansick's father. Oh, dad, yeah. He, he, yeah. Was, he was dating her for a little bit back in the day. Poor Carl. Hey, John. Yeah, hey, John, Dave, seat, what's with the LSD? I didn't know that was something that people did pre-contest. I, I no never heard of that, too. I, 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 think that was, yeah, I don't think that was I, a I've heard a lot of guys. I've heard many, several guys, especially in Florida, did ec ecstasy before. Of course, you know, ecstasy, everybody did. Sounds I mean, dangerous. Well, that ecstasy, is, LSD. Is oh, but wait. I got to play this video for you guys. Is, is this not Mr. G? <laughs> we got all your WWE, all the needs. But you know what's getting a little crazy around here with spring break? So the way I figured it, instead of getting pulled out of my car, thrown on the ground at CVS, taking pictures down at Hogan's Hangout, I figured I'd get all my out-of-town spring break Hulkamaniacs, all my local Hulkamaniacs at one time, right here at Hogan's Beach Shop. On March 18th, man, we're going to be running wild right here at Hogan's Beach Shop. Look out for the tails. Run, Howard. What time are we going to start, brother? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. That's the number. Two o'clock through the straddle of the night. Hogan's Beach Shop. Hulk Hogan's here. March 18th. Spring break. What you going to do? <laughs> Dave. Oh, that is George. Dave. You should go to have the camera on break. George's face. George just well, show up there. He was like, he he was like, he was like a little kid watching camera. Bob the Builder. It was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> George should show up. George should do his <laughs> yeah, thing should. and show up there because George looks more like Hogan. When he does that. <laughs> See, I know I haven't been around for a while, so you thought I went broke, right? We used to, we used to I thought I got woke, but I was broke. And then I found my stoke, and I was no longer woke. So if you don't want to be woke, get your stoke, bro. That's right. Come down to Fort Lauderdale and see my good friend, Mr. G. Boom, bam, smash. Whoa! <laughs> you got to put the whole outfit on, though. You used to have with the wig and everything. But you got to gotta have the feather boa. That's right. Yeah, right. Right. the gotcha. feather boa, the white hair. You got to the the bar. I, listen to me. I did Uber. I did Uber. I, when I came here a couple <laughs> times. I, I I did Uber a couple times. I dressed up as Hulk Hogan and, and picked people up at Fort Lauderdale Airport. <laughs> Both of my brothers. It's amazing. You said that you want to get in the car, George. Come on to the Hogan ride. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I get out of a little Prius. <laughs> you pick up an Asian an Asian tourist, they'll think you're Hulk Hogan. They'll believe it. I guarantee it. <laughs> so, George is at the car it. without the head resting on a passenger seat for your surfboard. When I got in the car that night. Yeah. My head went all the way back in the seat. I was like, I there was yeah. no. And I said, George, where's the headrest? And he says, well, I need room for my surfboard, she said to me. <laughs> yeah, I went, I went surfing this morning. I, I got there yeah. to the beach at like 6. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Did Jimmy you? and I went surfing this morning here in New York. Right, yeah. Jimmy? Sure. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. We're shoveling snow. Snowboarding, we went. Snowboarding. Did Jimmy, you I can cure your neuropathy. I can cure the, your foot. Can you cure my? Is, is can numb? you cure my, my my freaking stones too? I had one the other day. Yes. Again, I, I said, take Dave, one shot me. of testosterone, George. Take that George, shot. George, 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 I, 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 said, I said, Dave, the picture the other day. I had a, I had a, Come on. Hold it. Hold it. I got this all figured out. Georgie, 
go to go to Jimmy's house and give him the shot. <laughs> <laughs> give him a Narcan shot, knock him out. Yeah. Jo- <laughs> Paralyze him. J- Jimmy, you got to go to Florida so Mr. G can shoot you every week, and you won't have to do it. <laughs> Dude, I'll you. Come up here in New York. There you go. Your testosterone level will shoot up. Yeah. Georgie will cure your neuropathy. Right. And everything will be great. I mean, and you're you back, know, I'll have you and you're back. You'll walk straight up. Even, like you know, even, even, my, my, even my, my brother said, This is bullshit, brother. Jimmy. He's like, where, he you said, shouldn't be like this. He, he said, Where's my There's brother? No Jimmy the Bull. Where is Come he? On, said, Jimmy. I, don't, I don't know where he is. Georgie, we're I, losing I, him. I had a stone the other day. I was I was in the truck and I'm he, driving he it early in the morning. He, he I know always the one. sends me these stones, John. I'm so <laughs> grossed out when he sends me those kidney stones. They're, oh, shit. they're like bloody looking because they, you know, <laughs> they rip them apart when they come out of them and they look like a meteorite from like How Mars. How does he like have that. them? They're horrible. I got, listen, I could write a book on those things, okay? Because I was in the truck the other day. I'm driving and I'm bouncing in the truck. This is early in the morning, right? All of a sudden, I start feeling a, a painful sensation in my penis, right? I'm saying to myself, why am I getting the pain in my penis? I says, oh, my God, no, please. And it was getting worse and worse throughout the day. Then I got home. Then later on that night, I was rolling off the bed. I was on the floor, crawling on my hands and knees. I was saying, maybe I should go to the VA. I says, you know, and I called my brother. I said, I, I should go to the He goes, what are they going to do for you? I says, I don't know. I said, maybe, maybe it's too big. I can't pass it. That's my, my biggest worry. Now my kidney was starting to hurt. I think the urine's backing up. I'm getting an infection in my kidney. I'm going crazy. My brother goes, so if you need to go, go. He goes, right. Yeah, I gotta, I, but I got to get up in two hours. I'm never going to make work. And I was, all of a sudden, I laid down. I had the heat and pad on. Finally, I found a position. I sat on the end of the bed like this, and I fell asleep with my head down like this on the side of the bed, sitting, <laughs> sitting. And then all of a sudden, I had to go to the bedroom. I got up, and boom, there I was, and I sent it to Dave. Jimmy, you can build the rock wall with all those stones you passed. Do you, right. you know why, you know why you he's got those? He can build the rock wall. I can, build a, drink, I can build a patio in the back. Water. He will not drink water <laughs> no, at won't. all. Jimmy, no. how many of these do you drink a day? Zero. I don't drink water neither. He doesn't drink any water. You, you you're like why. Water. That's the difference. I, drink, I, don't, uh, I don't believe in water, man. See? But you believe, believe in water. water. Obviously. Hey, Hot if he drank water, then his spine wouldn't have fused. Yeah. So he, so actually, he 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 did he did surgery on his spine by not drinking water. There you go. He needs some water. Hey, Jimmy, you evolved into a new human being. <laughs> you wouldn't have any kidney stones if you drank right, a gallon right. of water. Guys, I, I got an ah, interview in, in about John, twenty minutes. I got to I got to cover this final him. story. Mario. Wait, wait, what? Dave, tell what? him. A gallon of water a day, you will not have kidney stones. A gallon of water. What do I look like? A freaking cactus plant? Listen, let me, let me, let me look. Yeah. Johnny you, girl you, drinks a gallon of water. Of water. Give it's me a shot of water. That's, that's, no, good that's, no, that's no good for you. A gallon of water that's no good for you. Do this, water. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, listen to me. In the morning when you wake up, drink an eight-ounce glass of water. Just guzzle it down. In the middle of the day, some that time when you're like in your truck, make yourself drink eight ounces. And then at night, you know, with dinner, drink eight ounces. If you can do three glasses, I think that that'll probably be enough for you. Dave, what about baking soda in that water? Doesn't that help break up the stone or whatever? Um, yeah, but it might give him other problems. I, I would form in the, Greg, it wouldn't form in the first place. Yeah, oh. yeah, right. I think I think he's just really dehydrated. I, I think John's right. Yeah. Wait till one day. I'm when not, how about pass. lemon? Should I put lemon? Someone told me put a little whatever lemon. Whatever you want. It's fine. You drink the freaking water. That's why your foot's cramping up too. That too. Yeah. Your yeah. foot's cramping up yeah. because you don't have enough fluid in you. Yeah. George, yeah. the other morning I woke up, I was putting my boots on, right, and my foot, cr- it, it, it went up like this. It cramped like it, it, it brought the heel up, right. So I couldn't get, I couldn't get my foot down. I was <clears> trying with all. I, I got up and I was walking on my toes with my one foot. I, I was putting all my body weight. I was lifting garbage. Pan. I was trying to see get you the becoming weight. a woman. You I could on your toes. My freaking foot. <laughs> Would not come down, man. It was like the scariest thing. I thought I was gonna have to go to work. I thought I was gonna look like a deer. I had the one foot up in the air. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. And all of a sudden, then all of a sudden, it finally relaxed, and the foot came down like by itself. I was like, "What the hell? What's going on with me, man?" We just what, told you what's what? going on with you. Yeah. You don't listen. You all would right, rather I, you would rather do that than drink this. That's yeah, Jimmy. If I had that do. stuff, I would drink the water. You gotta. What? Drink the water. Sure. Otherwise, you have nothing George to complain about. Yeah, all I drink is water. I don't drink anything but water. See? Hey, and do you have kidney stones? No. I, I, you know, <laughs> on that note, I, I, I mean, I mean, I, <laughs> we have such messed up trolls in our little comment section. I, I, you know, 
I have to I have to read this guy's name is Armand's Oxy Dealer, <laughs> <laughs> and his his comment is that Amin will be drinking toilet piss in jails. <laughs> I mean, these people are so ridiculous that it's actually funny. You know, it's it, it, it's at our expense, obviously. But it it it. it D- I don't Dave, even know you why. You know, you, why I've never had a bomb on Oxy, so I mean, this guy must be lying. I, I know. <laughs> if you can't feel bad it's a, about it's a joke, this. But I'm just saying. It's, it's I know. Funny. But you I can't know. you can't feel yeah, bad true, about this yeah. because these comments are coming from people that are sitting around with nothing to do at two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, really. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, what I'm are getting, they doing yeah, midday? People, people like, and why, let me that. tell you, why do they always make you gay comments with me? Like, what the hell is that? I was yeah, never it's gay. Everyone, why, it's why, everyone. Because so. you watched Brokeback Mountain and they all remember. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I forgot about that. Yeah. And and milk. Listen, oh, I watched oh, about oh God. I, I watched <laughs> 10, 15 minutes of that movie when they <laughs> when they ended up in the tent. That's when I oh, shut it off. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't watch the rest of the show. The, the tent scene was it for me. And I, 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 I shut know it off. It was off. You watched you watch the movie, though. I think traumatized. <laughs> I, Jimmy, I think they say that shit about you because George keeps saying you're a woman now. That you know, you know. Oh, because your estrogen levels, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, he, he was walking around his tiptoes yeah, yeah. this morning, yeah, right? Yeah, right. but now listen. So my yes, my my testosterone's low. I'm cramping up all over. I'm spitting out the uh, kidney stones. That doesn't mean I desire the hot dog. You know what I'm saying? That's got <laughs> no. nothing to do. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. <laughs> now, all right? Yeah. Uh, kidney stones. That doesn't mean I desire the hot dog. You know what, what I'm saying? That? That's got nothing to do. What, what, what the hell is that? What the hell is going on? How did I don't that know. come back like that? Where did that, that come from? <laughs> I have my I I have my big screen on. It's it's oh, the right, well, light. I don't, I don't think it can, but I I have it on off. Okay, we heard it, yeah. right. Somebody Let's else start. did that. Listen, hold on. I got to bring up one last topic. Then I got to go because I got to do another interview. But um, the topic is the. Have you seen this now? They want to vaccinate all the chickens. Have you seen this crazy shit? Yeah. No, you the, the, the chickens have COVID now. They, you know, the chickens. No, they don't. That's they have bird flu. Of course it is. It's both. It's BS. They want to vaccinate them, so then we eat Jeez. chickens no, and Dave, the eggs, you know, and we get funny, the vaccine. The chicken people are saying that the feed that they're getting, the government runs this fucking shit, and the feed that they're getting is making the chickens not lay eggs. And as soon of as course. the feed. They start laying eggs again. Yeah, and the they, government they, 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 is trying to blame the, uh, the the fact that they have this avian flu. So they Pfizer now bullshit. wants to How come they want to make a, a Trump vaccination. Trump? It's bullshit. It's well, fuck Pfizer. Pfizer. Wait, you know I got one more thing, Dave. Killed? Before you before you go, Dave, Please. I got one more thing I got to say. Right. You didn't see on the news that the Pentagon and Tucker Carlson was talking about it on Fox News that the mothership. Is in our solar system. Those things that they were shooting down. The first one was a. Uh, a Hold on, oh, you said there is no solar system. I I I, I, I don't believe any of that. I didn't say I said it. The news you, they said it. I didn't you say, you say there's lights in the sky. You said there's no planets or stars. <laughs> I got my brothers coming over today. We're going to do an experiment with the moon and the earth, with the, the light. We're going to do the whole thing, me and my brother thing, because my brother can't so get it through his head. What are you talking about gonna... motherships then for? I'm ta- because, because as we were talking about this earlier in a couple of weeks ago, all of a sudden they announced on the news that those probes they'd be shooting down were, were drones, uh, you know, they were the probes from the mothership. Yes. And now, They yes. said it on the news that the mothership is in the solar system, bro. It's on its way. Right. What, what are you going to do about that? Well, well, I'm not uh, worried because you told me there is no there is no solar system. You said wait, that we're living on a disc. Dicks. Jimmy, you want a telescope? <laughs> Where'd you get that? Under the desk? Yeah. <laughs> telescope. <laughs> it's under the desk. You guys can look. You <clears throat> want to go like this and look when up. When I see the mothership in the sky, I'm just going to assume that someone painted it on the ceiling of the firmament, which you told me. <laughs> no, it's going to be Project Blue Beam. It's going to be a holographic image, and then they're going to uh, turn on. Go. They're going to turn the cell phone towers off and start frying people. Uh, you watch. Mark my word. Yes. Project Blue Beam. <laughs> yeah, Project Blue. Greg, send me that telescope. Will you? I'll give you some money. No, I don't want money. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I got. I got a couple of them. Oh yeah, you got to send me one, bro. <laughs> Greg. Greg, yeah, how, far, how far do you live from Jimmy? Jimmy's in Long Island. I'm in Westchester. So you that's what, an hour and a half? Uh, yeah, yeah about a, it's about an hour and a half. Yeah. Would you that's drive that far. that far to give Jimmy his shot? Because he's not going to do it would. himself. I absolutely I prob- would. I probably I pass your house all the time, Greg, because I, I go up, uh, um, you know, I go upstate every day. So I, I pass. Uh, I go on over. the uh, 
He's, he's going to 95. Got a syringe left over from 2003. <laughs> there it is. There it is, Jimmy. Yeah. Pentagon yeah. UFO chief says alien motherships in our solar system possibly. I told you thought I was bullshit. I just told you that. I don't make shit up, man. Listen, Who is this by? that was on the news, man. It was on the Fox News that cut up the house. It's got to be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I don't believe everything I hear either, but they, I, I, what I'm telling you is that they're prepping us. That's what I'm telling you. So that's what it's all about. It's all Go about prepping get us. people vaccinated. That's right. <laughs> no, they're going to shut the all. They're going to shut all the banks down. The whole thing is happening. Don't worry. So about what it. Yeah, what do you guys think about the two banks that failed? Do you think that? I think that's just a ploy to get us it's all to turn over our like cash. It's not a big deal. It was an overreaction. No, so, uh, Signature Bank shut down over here in New York too, and I said they're all over Signature Bank. They they oh, closed really? too. That yeah, bank, the, the Silicon oh. Valley Bank, that bank supplies to all these all these. Uh, Guys who are developing new new apps and stuff. It's all speculative stuff. They, they they give them hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, and maybe they may come up with some new Twitter or something like that. No, it's they're all speculative stuff. Currency, they're not making George. any money. They just and they hedge their bets with T bills. That, that no, yeah, don't, don't exactly. You think that this is just an example so that everyone rates. turns their money over and says, "Here, get, we, we we want protect us. We'll do it a digital. You know, take our no, cash. They, yeah. They'll kill us." That's the worst thing that could happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. You don't have a choice. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be. Yeah, of course you don't. It's almost digital. Listen, it's almost digital now. You you, you got your 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 right. debit card. So your you tap it on the. It, I go to King Cullen. I tap it on the window. It yeah. takes the money. You know, right. it's, it's already digital it's already. Just takes some... No one uses cash anymore anyway. They're gonna say to you, look, if you don't give us your cash and and we'll give you digital currency, then guess what? If the bank goes out of business, you lose your money. Yep, yeah, that's because they control digital, and 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 of they course want to... they'll know exactly what you're spending money on. You can't. Use Not only that, but they control but... what you have. They can take it away in two seconds. If you want to right. go, that money's know, not even a, in there. Uh, Listen, the money's not even there to take away. When you deposit, you go to the bank, you deposit two, three grand. That yeah. two, three third grand ain't in the bank, bro. No, no. that's I just know. a digital so note fractional. of what you. Right. Fractional. Once they go to digital currency, like real, you know, like where you don't have money anymore, all that cryptocurrency is fucking no good. That's of fake course it isn't. The cryptocurrency it market is just an, it was it was a it was basically a trial run. Yes. To see how yes. it works, dude. They got dude. The they don't get rid of it. Hey, they want them hey, to fuck next up. Next thing is going to be the chip implant. They're going to implant the chip in you. Dude, yeah. I, that's I, when I stand I, at my door with the shotgun, brother. Uh, because when that the shit happens, man, score. that's the end, bro. Social yeah, they do credit like, score. Yeah, like in China, they do that. If Social, you're, if you're in the street they, and you say a curse word, you lose five, six credits. Because they're they watching you on the street. Come, they're they're on no credits left in no time. Listen, there. I don't care what they do. Because they don't make stuff that we eat. We'll go back to the way it was. You know, somebody yeah. who makes something, I'll make it make it here. And th then you'll buy it. We'll make and, and we'll just trade. Dude, they don't need them. They want to do away with cows. They want to do away with all that shit. Yeah, that's they right. The mark of the beast. That's right. The mark of the beast, right. the the of the dude, beast the brother. It's coming, man. You watch. The Chinese got us by the balls. They make all our pharmaceuticals. We don't even have antibiotics in this country. What are you kidding me? That's the problem right there, man. They could choke us off in a, in a, in a second. Let's go to hell. And then we're screwed. Yeah, but that's we it. got the food. We can tell them you don't eat. Because let me tell you some China. That's, yeah, right. that's why China's buying up all the farms, Greg. Right. Uh, Who here cares? America, they, Let them buy all the rug. We'll kick them right the fuck out. Goodbye, Mr. Chinaman. Sure, George. Yeah. You've been watching too much of your own videos, bro. You're not, you're not kicking nobody out of here. They own everything. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're buying up they everything. Own. Jimmy, so who cares? Let them own it. No, nah, you can't. You're Jimmy, country. Just, Jimmy, just it's just like you owning something just, in China. Just so you know. And all the whole Chinese, the whole Chinese, the whole Chinese people States comes up and says, Chinese Chinese that you think, that's John, China you think we'll go back to the border I can't hear. Too many people talking. Eventually. <clears throat> we're gonna, I think we're going to go get, back. We're going to regress to the barter system pretty we're, soon. Well, we're first, we're going to be fighting with sticks and stones, and then we'll graduate yeah. to the barter system. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I want to get my own chickens now because I don't want to eat the chickens that are going to be injected with the avian flu vaccine, you know? Jeez. Fuck that. That's it's why I'm getting, a, I'm, yeah, getting a, I'm getting a freaking a Dave. little trailer, Dave, and I'm moving on your property. Yeah, and I'll feed the chickens every, every morning. I'll feed the chickens. The yeah, Jimmy. Yes. I'll feed the chickens. I'll water them. I'll yes. talk to them. I'll sing them. I'll, yes, do my guitar. I'll, play, I'll play music for those chickens. That's what I'm going to do on your property, Dave. I'm going to take all the animals because I ain't going chick down. Chicken Jimmy. That's right. Chicken <laughs> Little. Jimmy, 
Chicken Little because I got no, I got no testosterone, so my name is Chicken Little now. Gay Chicken Little. That's my name now. He's taking the bowl moniker away. We're gonna make him Chicken Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy yeah. the chicken. Chicken, 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 Oh man, you, you got hit. Wow, you got hit hard up there, bro. That's yeah, depressing. Next yeah, week is the first day of spring, and you guys are dealing with with winter in New York. Snowstorm. Yeah. They said it's gonna, and they said it's gonna snow for the next three days. They're talking over here. Oh wow. Well, hey, stay you know what's funny, Jimmy? It don't snow in December for Christmas. It don't snow in January. It don't snow in all. No, it snows in spring. Jimmy, all these New Yorkers are saying to, oh, we got no snow this year. Well, we had a great winter, no snow. But meanwhile, it's snowing every day in March. You know what I mean? Well, where's this? Got. Where's this? I want to know where this global warming crap is. That's what I want to know. Wait, did you right? say globe? Uh uh. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he meant the flat globe. Come on. Right. <laughs> yeah, hold on, Jimmy. How can we? Why are the ice walls melting now? If uh, uh, you know, if there's if there's no sun that's rotating bullshit. around us, some are melting, some aren't. There's new ones. Listen, built. that's all BS. The stuff, the ice walls. When we get our, our winter, the sun circles out. It melts the ice walls, and as it comes back, and we got our summer, the ice walls free. That's all bullshit. They go down there, and they film a little little section of the ice wall like that with the, with the ice falling down. They go, oh, look, the oceans are rising. Yeah, the ocean hasn't risen uh, a quarter inch in a thousand years. Oh, it's a, you know, look at the ice wall falling, and the penguins are flying and all this shit. They film a little section like that. Come on, that's all bullshit what they do over there. Yeah, that's, that's why they, they got a stoop. They put like John said, they put it on the TV. It's reality. It's reality, man. Jimmy, that's why Obama just built a mansion on the ocean. Would it? Would it yeah. Right there on the ocean, right? Yeah. So that when all this, when Florida goes underwater, like they say it is in ten years or whatever, yeah. Obama be the first one underwater because he's right on the ocean. Because he knows the ocean. It's 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 Jack, right. Greg, did you ever put an ice cube? Do yourself a little experiment. Get a glass of water, fill it up, then you take an ice cube and you drop it in there, right? And you wait yeah. till it melts. Does the glass overflow? No, it does not. Because when you got ice in the glass. And if you fill the glass up, and as it melts, it's already taken up that space. So when the water melts, it's the same shit. There ain't, there's no such thing as rising oceans and all that shit. And in fact, that's all bullshit. That, we got the same water here since day one. It evaporates, it comes back, it evaporates, it freezes, it melts, it comes back. And nothing's rising, you know, all that shit. That's a bunch of, that's all, it's all they, they doping us. Like the, like the climate, oh, you know, the big climate, the global warming, the global warming my ass. Where the hell's it going? The other morning I was freezing my ass off. I got the truck. It was 20-something degrees out there. I fucking was going down the road by trail. I was making a right-hand turn. I hit black ice. I almost slid into a park car in Queens. I was making a sign of the cross. I had 40 ton on the back. And here I come around the corner. The whole truck is slide. I had to break on and go like this. Holy Jesus, mother of God. And the truck just stopped. Just stopped right before the car. I, I, I shit my pants, man. <laughs> Be careful, Jimmy. Don't piss off Greta. You might get canceled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? He means Greta Thornburg, that little yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. About global warming. Yeah. You people are robbing oh. me of my childhood and all this shit. How yeah. dare you? Wait a minute. Back up. If I piss Greg off, I'm going to get cancer? How's, I don't understand. No. That doesn't make any sense to me. You missed no, no, the joke. Said, you missed Greta, the inside joke. Greta yeah. Thornburg. Greta Thornburg. Not Greta. Greta Thornburg. It's some girl that she's like, uh, you know, this big advocate for climate change and yeah. you know they she's been 11 years old when she was younger you know out now you know you people are you know you're lying you know destroying my childhood you know how dare you that shit yeah yeah but what's that yeah. got to do with cancer he's no just, cancel cancel he said yeah oh oh cancel oh, like sorry, okay. cancel yeah <laughs> i got you all right I, well yeah, I got, I got. 
Guys, uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us and uh, for giving us all these insights into testosterone and uh, kidney stones. And Jimmy's like eyes. me. He's going to need a big spine. Don't forget the spine. Spinal, spinal fusions and all. I mean, we, we're we just a chock full of med medical uh, advice on this show. Uh, for, for geriatrics, that is. <laughs> Drop How to rest. cure neuropathy. <laughs> if, if no, this is what the, there, this like, is what the young the audience got to look forward to, man. Kidney oxygen. stones, <laughs> messed up Mother spines. Shit. Vision it's going blind, can't hear my ears ring at night all night long. I got to put the sound machine on. I all actually right, went to George's house. I heard enough. I heard They're enough, all Sal. girls, right, George? Yeah. They're all girls. <laughs> They're all women. <laughs> yeah, we don't got to do the sex change, Greg. We already changed it. We don't need the sex change. We don't got to spend the money. Next week is my, will be the last show before my surgery. So we're going to sneak uh -oh. one more in on, on Tuesday and uh, – so we'll we'll, uh, we'll have to do like a, a yeah John remember when you wrote that article the uh, the Last Supper when I yes. before I went to prison you know we're gonna have to have the Last Supper uh, TV show no I don't uh, say that Dave you gotta get I'm gonna to come by I'm coming yeah, by the Last week Supper to before you. the next episode of my life you know like right. there's always the next part part two it's the so end so of one chapter yeah, in the end beginning of another yeah, one. Yeah, there you go no Dave yeah. don't say that you're gonna we love you that. we love you Dave yeah, you know our friends. Our prayers are with you, brother. I get up yeah, every morning I and I light a candle and I thank pray you. for you every morning, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's uh, let's wrap up today and uh, stay tuned again. Like I said, next week will be the uh, the last show before my surgery, and we'll 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 talk about hopefully some more cheerful things to get me in a good good spirits and good mood. And maybe Sounds Jimmy good. the Bull. You never know. Maybe Jimmy the Bull will actually get out of the snow. I maybe try Jimmy will do the surgery for you. I actually tried it. I almost, I, Greg, I thought yesterday I actually had you convinced to move down to Florida, actually. You were pretty close. I know, Dave and I were on the phone. I, I'm really? going to go down there one of these days, but I just yeah. got to tie up shit up here. With, his you know, girlfriend will chop his balls off. He ain't going down. He's going to pack a ball. Hey, Greg, she's got to sell the place across weather, right? across Greg, my way. All, all of those statues on his yard got to go in a my box. My niece is moving the way you are, George. My niece is moving there. But I... I'm going to live in a trailer with Jimmy on Dave's John, if he had a garage, Greg, though, he'd probably Greg, raise Greg, a million dollars. If you move down to it. Florida, Greg, yep. I'm coming with you. You're going to come oh, down. There you go. You're going right. to come well, south, and you're picking me up, and we're bringing all our shit. We're going to Dave's house. We're going to get a big mobile home, and we're going to stick go. it on Dave's <laughs> property. And, and, and Jimmy, and you know what? Dave's going to freak out and move back to New York. He were being like, mobile. Fuck that. They were being molded. Greg will take care of his chickens, his horses, the cows. We'll do the whole thing. We'll do the whole thing. Greg, peacocks. They like animals. The big peacocks. Georgie, it's up to you to facilitate this arrangement. I will. We got to stop by John's house first. Break his balls a little bit. We got to work on your motorcycle. I'm buying the place we get. Hold on. If we get cows, buying this place, Jimmy. Jimmy, if I get buy cows, this we, we slaughter them and cut them up. We, we learn how to be like a butcher and you know. Oh, absolutely! All I gotta do is Google it, bro. I get the knife. I get the knives right here, man. I'll, yeah, come, I'll come down there. I'll be like a. I'll be like a, a, a professional <laughs> butcher. I'll yeah, we'll make a roast. We, get the, we need a couple down. of females. We gotta get the livers and kidneys to the vultures. You know. We get, we're gonna get the milk. We'll make the butter. We'll make the sour cream. Yeah, the we get protein. the bacon. Yeah, we, we don't we don't need no digital stuff. We don't That's need right. the government for nothing. We'll make all our own stuff. Dude, we're going to be like Les Stroud. We're going to live on your property. We're going to live off the land. Look, I, I, this we're weekend, I'm picking up a, a solar, I'm picking up a solar generator, Greg. I'm picking up a solar. I got a solar. Hold on. The only way you can come, come, you can come, you can come, come to me is if you build me a brick wall game. around the whole property. Yeah, so that, right. We're going to make a moat, too. We're going to go on the Lumbo Ridge. That's right. Yeah, there you go, John. I like that. I like that. Jimmy I and I, you know, John, Dave's got a river in his backyard, too. Dave's got a big river in the backyard. Yeah, we, we got fishing. water source and everything. Yeah, there alligators. Yeah, man. Hey, Dave we can we 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 sell alligator steaks. Dude, Jimmy and I can wrestle alligators in jock <laughs> Look, hold on. <laughs> hold on before you go. Hold on. What? I got a, I, I got, I don't know where to my, I got my crossbow. I, I, I we got small game hunting. I got that. I'll bring that down here. <laughs> All right. We got, yeah, we got deer, 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 deer. Crocus, crocodiles or whatever they are, alligators. Alligators are good eating, man. That's right. We'll, we'll make shoes out of them, Weird too. Like yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll Artists make the boots. Belts. Love you guys. Belts. See you again next week. We're out of time. Thanks for joining us live, guys.